The most tense moment before a big game is when you're in the tunnel, your heart's racing, the butterflies in the tummy, and like the players, you're nervous as you walk out onto the field, wondering for an hour and a half later, it's going to be calm or mayhem as you return. Do you think matches like Manchester United and Arsenal are becoming impossible to referee? Oh, no. I, I, nowhere near. I, I, I genuinely believe that they stretch the experience of the referee. Did Van Nistelrooy put his right foot above the ball and injure Ashley Cole? Now, we saw the assistant referee move across in mm. front of the camera. How was it that the assistant referee didn't say to the, to the referee, Van Nieselrooy has done wrong here, why not? Well, strange as it may seem, sometimes referees and assistant referees are too close to an incident to be able to judge it, and that was one of them. He would have focused on the ball, the ball disappeared, and then the challenge came in, and he was focusing on that to get the small decision, the throw in right. And people there were saying, well, how on earth can you miss it? You're so close. But he was focusing on something else and didn't have the width of vision to see the challenge come in late. And another thing is, if you look at the speed of the incident, it all happens so very quickly, it's very difficult for anybody to pick it up. And then if you spool back, you will, as the challenge goes in just there and you freeze it just behind Ashley Cole's head, you can see Mike Riley. His line of sight is clearly blocked by Ashley Cole's body. So there's no way in the world Mike Riley could have seen that challenge. Another criticism levelled at Mike Riley was that it took him too long to brandish a yellow card. Keith Hackett is his boss. What he attempted to do was to put some flow into it. Um, in fairness, rightly or wrongly, he ignored a few challenges early on. I, I was concerned about that, and that's part of the discussion. I think there were one or two reckless challenges that warranted a caution. Freddie Jungberg was clean through, uh, I don't know. Mike Riley didn't give it on Sunday, probably correctly. The two players come together and for all the world it's just a routine collision that most referees probably wouldn't have given a free kick there. And the interesting thing at the end is that Mike Riley is not surrounded by protesting players by any means. That's not a big decision at the time as far as the players are concerned. Mike Riley had given seven penalties on his previous visits to Old Trafford. Do you look at that and you think, actually, we'll give him the weekend off? No, I don't look at that. I genuinely don't look at that. Uh, what I do look at is his, his overall performances. I think the interesting stat there was he also gave one to Liverpool. So that tends to be ignored. Cole's tackle on Ronaldo. What's Mike Riley said to you this week about that? Well, when I discussed it with Mike earlier in the week, he said that this was the decision that, that he was disappointed with. It was a bit of a miscommunication, really. As he looked across to his assistant, who I believe was going to flag the penalty, the assistant took Mike moving his head as Mike shaking his head saying no penalty. And so it wasn't given. I think that was a disappointment to Mike. Mike Riley has been on jury service this week. And as a result, he's, I know when I spoke to him on Tuesday morning, he hadn't seen a newspaper. He'd seen the inside of a courtroom. Um, and I just smilingly said, well, I hope you get this one right. And a date for the ref's diary? Arsenal Manchester United 2 will take place on February the 1st. Arsenal Man United is one of that group of perhaps 10 a dozen games which challenge a referee and that's why they're so attractive and so exciting. There were probably 18 referees watching the game on TV who would love to have refereed that game and will no doubt be knocking on my door saying when Arsenal play Manchester United in a few months time, please sir, can I have that?